Hello friends, if you're new here, my name is Malki Asad, a plastic surgery resident in the US and the founder of The Match Guy. We help applicants from around the world match into residency in the US. And in today's video, I'll tell you about the Medical Student Performance Evaluation or MSPE. We'll discuss what the MSPE is, the different sections included in the MSPE, how to submit this document and answer a few FAQs about the MSPE. Before we get started, go ahead and check out the all-in-one application resources for match applicants. It's a series of amazing resources that you will find extremely helpful in your residency application. It includes personal statement examples, ES application template, full MSPE examples, and much, much more. And you can sign up to that fully for free by clicking on the link in the card above or the description below. Now let's start with what is the MSPE or the Medical Student Performance Evaluation. The name explains itself. It's a document that summarizes your performance during your medical school. It talks about your professional behavior, your performance during the pre-clerkship years and during the rotations. And some program directors give high importance to this document when reviewing applications to invite applicants for interviews. This document was called previously the Dean's Letter, but now it's called the MSPE. And you should not confuse the MSPE with your letters of recommendations, which are totally two different documents. Now, what are the different sections of the MSPE? As I said, we have full examples of MSPE that you can download fully for free to see the different sections of the MSPE and how it looks like. But now I'll go briefly over the different sections. And these sections are based on the structure recommended by the AAMC. The first section is the identifying information. It includes your name, which year in medical school are you, and the name of your medical school. The second section, which is one of the most important sections of the MSPE, is the noteworthy characteristics. It highlights three characteristics that best describes you, and it can include things both related to academics and research, or extracurriculars, hobbies, or general characteristics. Let me show you a few examples to have a better idea of what the North characteristics include. Mastania Jacobs has demonstrated exceptional leadership as president of the Student Medical Association coordinating many successful events and initiatives during her tenure. Mr. Omar is deeply committed to community service, volunteering regularly at local health clinics and organizing health camps in underprivileged societies. Next is the academic history, which talks about when you started medical school, when did you end or expect it to end, any classes you had to repeat, any gaps or any adverse actions that were taken against you. Next is the academic progress, which has three sections under it. Professional performance, which talks about your professionalism during your medical school and how the school evaluates that, your performance during your preclinical coursework and your clerkship performance in chronological order. So it lists the different rotations you did and the feedback and the evaluations you got during these rotations. And it's also recommended if the school has some form of evaluation to be included in the description like honors or pass, high pass, etc. And some schools even demonstrate that in a graph. So you can see this graph here that shows the percentages of students in each of the different categories, fail, pass, high pass, and honors, and where did the student fall among these. Then comes the summary, which summarizes the overall performance of the student during their medical school, class ranking, if the school has that type of ranking, and also clarify the ranking methodology. Then comes the school information, the address, the email, the fax, the telephone number, and also the information of the person who signed your MSPE. Now some wonder, should I write my own MSPE? The answer is no, the school is supposed to write your MSPE, but some schools might invite you to a meeting with the advisor who's gonna write your MSPE, especially to discuss the noteworthy characteristics. So the noteworthy characteristics is the section of the MSPE in which the student has the most say. And some schools have you review the MSPE to make sure all the information are correct before they finalize it. Now some ask, how can I get the MSPE? The process is much easier in US schools or international schools that are familiar with MSPEs or have many students that go to the US, but it's way more challenging for schools that are not familiar with the process. So if you're from a school that is familiar with MSPEs, you can ask your colleagues or your seniors who went through this process and who did they contact to get the MSPE. You can contact that official in your university that does these MSPEs and maybe set up a meeting with them to discuss what's gonna be included in your MSPE. Also, some schools might require to submit some type of form to get that MSPE. So after you get that document, if you're an IMG, you generally have to upload the MSPE yourself through ECFMG website. If you are a US medical student, usually your school submits the MSPE directly 
to your application. So that's why it's recommended to start requesting the MSP early on, especially if you're from an international school that is not familiar with that, start the process at least a year earlier so you don't run into issues of not having the MSP when you apply. If your school is familiar with the MSP, they know what to include in it, but if they're not, you can send them the AAMC guidelines for drafting the MSPE. You can also send them the MSPE examples we have as part of our all-in-one application resources that you can download fully for free by clicking on the link in the card above or the description below, in addition to the AMC guidelines. And if you need help with your personal statement, ERAS application, interview prep, advising, make sure to check out the Match Guy application packages. We helped hundreds of students match into residency and we want to help you as well. We have three match application packages. The silver includes one edit of your personal statement, one edit of your ERAS application, and one hour of interview prep. The gold package includes two edits of your ERAS application and personal statement, two hours of interview prep, and one hour of advising. And the platinum, which is the most comprehensive, includes unlimited edits of your ERAS application, unlimited edits of your personal statement, unlimited access to your advisor on WhatsApp, six hours of advising, and four hours of interview prep. In addition to match edit guarantee, which means if you didn't match, we will continue to edit your personal statement and CV until you match. So go ahead and check out these packages. And if you have any questions about them, schedule a free consultation with our customer support team who will be happy to answer any questions you have about them or any of our other services. That brings us to the end of this video. If you find any value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who are also applying to the match. Before you leave, make sure to check out the full tutorial I recorded on how to fill your ERAS application by clicking here. Thank you so much for tuning in and good luck on your match. Peace.